The inaugural season of Titans RX has been nothing short of exciting, fielding drivers from multiple motorsport disciplines, including WRC, Formula E, touring cars, and of course, World RX. Round one in SA France saw Toby Hakenden dominating the field, while newcomers to the sport found the close contact a big challenge. Yeah, a lot of fun. I think I was being too nice most of the day, to be honest. So when you're out on your own, it's good fun. You can do your own lines, and that's what we're used to. But as soon as you're with other cars, you've got to be sort of weary where they are. And yeah, it's been it's been really enjoyable, I have to say. Uh, my, my first rally across experience, probably one of the most extreme ones I think you can imagine. So uh, yeah, it surpassed my expectations on how much contact there will be. In round two, however, Timmy and Kevin Hansen caught up to the fin, while Frenchman Jerome grote Janin reached the podium at his home circuit. For round three and four, Titans RX travelled to Lydon Hill, the home of Rallycross. Joining the fray were a host of British drivers, including Andrew Jordan, Perry McCarthy, Abby Eaton and Oliver Webb. It was dry at the beginning, like monsoon at the end, to try and win a heat uh, and get into the finals. In classic British tradition, the rain caused upheaval during round three, but that did not decrease the enthusiasm of the newcomers, some of which who'd never raced on gravel before. I'm just addicted now. That's it, it's done. The bug has been, uh, been bitten, really. Toby Hakenden took victory during round three, while Kevin Hansen managed to clip the top spot in round four, having been on the podium during every race so far. Round five and six brought Titans RX to Montalegre in northern Portugal. Driving was rough into the very tight first corner. Tamara Molinaro consistently improved, but found herself shuffled out multiple times during round five. In round six, however, she managed to get into her very first final. Racing legend Tom Coronel made his Titans RX and Rallycross debut, but learned firsthand about the close contact. Respect for each other, but when the hole is only this big, you're allowed to make it bigger. Toppy Hakenen and Kevin Hansen came to blows during the final in round six, with Hansen ultimately victorious, extending his lead by 10 points. Molinaro closed the gap to Ronnie Searock in her fight for fourth place. The newly rebuilt MJP Arena in Fuglau, Austria is the home of Titans RX and was the home of round seven and eight. The very technical circuit has two jumps and a long slippery dirt corner, which proved a large challenge for returning wildcards Eaton and Webb. However, it suited rally drivers the most as Hayden Padden landed his first podium and Craig Green came a close fourth, beating Timmy Hansen in round seven. Nice to be at, at the home of Titans, I think, here in Fuglau, and it's nice to be back. And I think this is going to be a very exciting weekend. Whilst Toby Hakenden took victory in round seven, it was round eight which saw the largest shuffle in the field. Ronnie Searock's mechanical troubles allowed Tamara Molinaro to leap forward when she placed fifth in the final. Though Craig Green had troubles during qualifying, he placed fourth, this time right behind Kevin Hansen. Ultimately, it was Kevin's brother Timmy who took a dominant victory over his rivals. But it was not enough to move up from third in the standings and hope for a better weekend in Hungary. With the fight for the series title wide open, Titans RX moved to the iconic Nira Motorsports Centre for its penultimate weekend. Rounds 9 and 10 saw an impressive display from local hero Shushu. He claimed his first semi-final victory due to smart attire choice and made it into the final on both days. Technical issues, though, prevented him from getting on the podium in his home race. Returning to Rallycross after maternity leave was Swede Ramona Carlson, who became the third female driver on the Titans RX roster and immediately won her very first qualifying race. Dominant during round nine was Toby Hakenen, who set the pace early on, but Timmy Hansen ultimately won the top spot. Jerome gross in saw his first successful weekend since the opening rounds in France, placing third after overtaking Hakenen in the final, pushing Tamara Molinaro into fifth place in the standings. Victory in round 10 belonged to Kevin Hansen, who, whilst on the podium consistently, hadn't reached the top spot since Lyndon Hill. The grand finale for Titans RX was held at the classic Estering circuit in Germany. Round 11 saw some spectacular driving by Kevin Eriksson, who fought consistently with the title contenders. However, a massive shunt with Shushu caused a red flag during the final and ended his race. Toppy Hakenen and Timmy Hansen suffered further technical failures, allowing Jerome gross in to claim his first ever Titans RX win. To win a race, there is two things, being fast and being at the end. So I'm very happy about that. Thanks to the team, uh, I've been fast and I've been to the end. During the final round, Abby Eaton and Tamara Molinaro were very strong, whilst local hero Andreas Stefan managed to claim a qualifying victory. 
Among the title contenders, Kevin Hansen showed his consistency, keeping his other challengers at bay. He took a commanding win, and with Kevin Erickson and Jerome Grosjean rounding out the top three, the 21-year-old Swede was crowned as the inaugural Titans RX Series winner. Just to be on the podium every time is incredible, and then to secure a championship with a win is is amazing. It's so important to have have my crew working so well all the all the year like that. So big thanks to them. Without them, it wouldn't have been a win. We'll be back in 2020 for the second season of Titans RX. To learn more, visit titansrx.eu.